I was even early this time. <laughs> oh, fuck this week. Yo, how we doing? How we doing, guys? Oh, <laughs> I just, I just wanted to chill out, chill out, and uh, look a little, look at a little yonder dev. That's all I wanted. It was gonna be, it was gonna be a peaceful night. It was gonna be chill. Then I was gonna go play more Dragon's Dogma. That's what we were gonna do. But no. No, apparently, apparently that's old news. And on this one very, very rare occasion, I actually got annoyed. You want something, you want something new? <laughs> you want some fucking degeneracy? I'll show you degeneracy. <laughs> okay. Okay, I have been, I've been sat on this for a while. I've been, I've been sat here waiting with this shit. Because there is a C. <laughs> There is a sea, a smorgasbord of degeneracy out there. I want, I want to talk to you tonight about about a very, very old lol cow. Now, <laughs> where the fuck do I even begin with Eddie Asada? So, <laughs> oh dear, fuck. Oh, okay. So, I have here, I have here in my hand. We'll start with this. I really, I really hope this is safe for work. Okay. We're going, we're going way back. Are we getting the let's play? Are we getting the let's play? I don't know what you're talking about, Merit. Okay, I've had to... You might be wondering why half the screen is missing. Half the screen is missing because this page contains a lot of not so safe for work material, okay? <laughs> hey, business! Thank you for the membership. So, back in the good old days. In the good old days. It, for anyone familiar with Encyclopedia Dramatica, this is a very, 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 very long... <laughs> this is a very, very long article. Okay? This is this is somebody who used to be an ED admin. <laughs> and is also a lol cow. And is insane. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna have a look at them tonight. We're gonna we're gonna go through them. Through through all this shit. And uh <laughs> We're gonna do we're gonna do a deep dive. It's gonna be exciting. Becca getting one guide into doing new content. Yeah, that's true. That happened. That's a thing, Evan. <laughs> okay, so now 
I don't have a video to show you. Why? Because as far as I can tell, no one has ever made content on this dude. He he predates making YouTube content on people. Or whatever whatever YouTube content existed on him has long been lost. I can't, I can't find shit. Um so I, I can I can keep scrolling on this. God, that's a lot of fucking weird images. <laughs> You know when you read something, you're like, I'm not the same anymore. I'm not the same fucking person. This is this is where we're at. This is this is kind of where we're at. <laughs> this fucking guy. But I have dug up I have dug up some interesting stuff. So how we doing? How we doing? Everyone everyone having fun? I, I will say this. I want to I want to get to the underrated dev stuff because uh Diesel has released a load of videos. Um and uh, apparently there are some calls coming out as well. I'd quite like to listen to those calls and dig into like the current stuff. I can't be up to date on everything, uh, but also cause some of it's interesting. And also, you know, I, I like Diesel. I like his content. He's got he's got me interested finally because like I kind of lost I kind of lost interest in uh, Yonder Ida. But okay, so. I do Santa. I, I wanna I, I wanna start somewhere, so we'll we'll start here. I got like um a Google Doc. <laughs> Fuck. I can't even remember how I found this one. But um <laughs> I shall give you a read um a, a read through. On a day it's Mad Hatter, aka Matthew Moulton. Now you might be wondering why he'll be referred to as Matthew Moulton so much. Um <laughs> this guy this guy was a troll and a hacker okay um who had some of the worst opsec i have ever seen in my life now i'm not going to show you how bad that opsec is because people will say that i'm doxing if i do but his opsec was so bad that he started his own development company using his home address and real name while getting trolled on the internet it's just everywhere. Like he, his, he had a, like a, an old website with flash animations and flash games in it. These, these flash games were incredibly degenerate. <laughs> I just had the same address on it. He's like, yeah, that's probably fine. <laughs> so, his his information is long out there. I don't know where he is now. He disappeared. He disappeared at some point. <laughs> <Out of paste. laughs> He's like, yeah, fuck you, fuck you, trolls. <laughs> you can't stop the diaper jihad. <laughs> no one can stop the diaper jihad. Okay. Matthew Moulton's goal is to be the coolest, la coolest, loudest, most arrogant kid on the internet without accomplishment. His exploits on the internet have backfired so spectacularly that Matthew Moulton's name is forever linked to a 16-year-old posting, 16-year-old posting history on Usenet and various internet forums that is filled with failure, adult baby fetishism, and football stadium-sized piles of disgust for anyone who cares to read it. Although time has somewhat covered up Matthew's failings on the internet, there is still plenty of juicy content to document him as a fantastic failure, which is true. I, I think one of the most interesting things coming about coming across this dude is that no one fucking knows about him anymore. Like, occasionally I'll say something, like, and Merritt will be like, oh my god, is there a thing? But most people have completely forgotten this dude fucking existed. Which, which is also proof that <laughs> things do get lost on the internet. People are forgotten. If you shut the fuck up and go away, <laughs> no one will care anymore. Except for, uh, except for degenerate gingers who'll, uh, <laughs> who'll, who'll stumble across your page and be like, Oh, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is twigging the nostalgia. An introduction to Matthew Moulton. The best way to talk about Matthew is to start from a mundane occurrence and go from there into the depravity. So let's start with a small incident. Now, <laughs> wasn't this a Yonder Ray dev stream? Yep, and then someone annoyed me. So now we're <laughs> now we're looking at an ancient lol cow uh, like uh, diaper fetishist. <laughs> this is what happens when you annoy me. People get people get punished. <laughs> H. Former guy was able to nuke his history. It's funny you say that. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, Haberman was able to nuke his history. Um, but there are still pieces around. There are still pieces of Haberman around. 
we'll get to we'll get to H from Haven at some point. But um <laughs> Okay. Matthew Moulton used to run a business called Black Backwater Productions, a web design company he ran out of his apartment. As the sole employee of Blackwater, Matthew was never afraid to put the boot on other web de designers. This is Matthew in 2007 after delivering some tactless criticism to another web developer and warning him not to delete his comments or or this would happen. Now, I'm going to I'm going to pre-check pre-check these links. <laughs> I feel like I have to. Um I did manage to I did manage to dig up some things I'm not going to show you. Because if I have to show you, um, fucking type of anime, uh, I, I think, I think I will actually get fucking cancelled. Um, <laughs> I didn't know this was a Doodle Diaper stream. Oh, this is, this is Doodle Diapers, like, this is before Doodle Diapers was a thing. Uh, is this alright? Um, <laughs> um, duh, 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 duh. Okay. Uh, so, wanting him not to leave his comments, so this would happen. Um, this forum is just basically a fucking listen. Look how far this goes back. Christ. Um. <laughs> Holy shit! I hadn't even looked at this one. Okay, I'll have a look. Over the past day or two, I posted my entire design portfolio to Flickr. I finished it last night and went to bed at 5am and woke up a few hours later and, upon checking my account, found that I had made a friend overnight. He decided to comment on one of my client websites. Yeah, what a horrible colour scheme that is. <laughs> Look here, kiddo. <laughs> and then he links his own website. <clears throat> See, if you can't learn yourself something, further... If you can't tilt your images without making them look all jagged on their edges. Now, I can't show you Backwater Productions. Again, it, it, it is on the Wayback Machine. I have found it. But it just has this address plastered everywhere. And I really don't want to have to deal with that. <laughs> but it's but I will I will tell you this. I, I'm not a graphic designer. I know that some people don't like my thumbnails. But it is truly like... If you want to imagine a website from the early 2000s, that's what it looks like. It's a website from the early 2000s. It's a hideous, hideous piece of trash. Okay? It's shit. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, <laughs> also, you got way too many fonts type types going on here. Seriously, pick two and then stop. Any more than that, and you start looking like you were either confused about what direction you want uh you wanted to go with your style, or you just got click happy in Photoshop after down downloading or so um or some font pack. Yes, look at all the pretty fonts. Very nice. But you don't oh, Jesus fucking Christ. But you don't need to use them all at once. Less is more. Overall, the design is very cookie cutter looking. It looks like the sort of five ninety nine ten plate job you'd buy off bob's discount web design or whatever there's no soul to it no sense of style or individuality one of the first things you should ask yourself is what does the design say about the company what does it convey to visitors in this case i say half ass with an extra helping of giving a <clears throat> well that was sweet I looked up his Flickr profile and he had only posted one picture in which he photoshopped his, uh, the head of a famous web design developer into some gay porn. <laughs> Classy. I deleted his message and got back to work. After a few minutes later, uh, after a few minutes, however, I got an email from a guy named Matthew Moulton. Sure enough, it's my new friend <laughs> from Matthew Moulton. Subject lol. You can't cover up what you don't like on the internet, kiddo. <laughs> You can't cover it up! You can't hide! If you can't take criticism, you best stay the fuck out of the biz. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this, Beck Beckett? This, this is an ancient diaper-loving lol cow. Good evening, snail. How we doing? <laughs> uh, what the fuck happened to that poor smiley, I lamented. But no time. It was time to engage my web design peer in this serious conversation. And so I clicked on the usernet and found that he had post, uh, 
had reposted his criticism along with an awesome signature. And so I responded to let him know that I wasn't going to let him troll me. Apparently this careful sleight of hand... Fuck, we were all really retarded on the internet back in the day. <laughs> we still are, what we're talking about. It was a bad idea and I was really in for it now. Matthew Moulton, professional web designer, had had enough of my amateur pa uh, pandering and took it to the next level. Emailing my mummy client. That's right. He emailed my client to let them know how much of a hack I was. <laughs> I can't fucking believe he emailed the client. That's fucking amazing. I just wanted to let you know how horrible I think your site design looks. <laughs> Can you imagine being a business in the 2000s? You've thought, right, we need a website. We need to get with it. We need to, uh, we need to get with the kids. And some fucking lunatic starts emailing him. Mm, I don't like your website very much. What do you think of that? I just wanted to let you know what a, how horrible I think your, web, your site design looks. First of all, the palette user doesn't fall within the scope of professional sc color theory. <laughs> Here's a lovely quote for you. This is a quote. Holy shit. When choosing colors for your design, remember a few rules for mixing colors. The human eye cannot focus on red and blue at the same time. Trying to read red type on a blue background or vice versa ex uh, causes extreme eye fatigue. Your audience will not be receptive to your message if it hurts them to read it. However, uh, never ever use blue type on a red background. And even worse, is red type on a blue background. Another problem with your site is the overuse of fonts. Generally speaking, you want to stick with just two fonts. Any more than that, and you will create a jumbled, messy looking design that will make it hard for your viewers to focus on anything. This, this is just because he didn't like some dude's website. That's all this fucking is. <laughs> okay, so. Um... So, uh, it should also be noted that any such comments made on the site designs post on Flickr that are censored by the original poster will not only be posted publicly to Usernet, but will also be forwarded to the owner of the site in cases where the designer was contact, uh, contracted for their work. This dude was just like, anyone who, anyone who does any work for you, anyone who does, anyone you do any work for, if anyone hires you, I'll tell them. I'll tell them that you use too many fonts. Matthew's target won Readman commented that Matthew's only picture on his Flickr account was another web developer's head photoshopped onto some gay porn. Reedman did his homework on Hatter and decided to ignore him. Onideus then sent the admittedly boring email to Usenet and Reedman's client. Nothing else happened. Then this happened. Another web designer had reported Matthew's Flickr, which resulted in this warning uh, sent to Matthew. Uh, please note both Flickr.com and proper authorities have been notified as I have flagged you as a potential paedophile, a potential sex predator, making unwarranted threats. All information has been submitted and any future communication will be directed with them as, to them as well. This was a warning not from Reedman, but Matthew sent this to Reedman anyway. So, like, so basically, because of the actions taken by Hatter, someone started, again, you're a paedophile on the website. It's a, it's a, it's a never ending story. <laughs> it's a never ending story. Time is a flat circle. Glad to know draw, uh, drama about stupid shit uh, was thing in the past and even in the present. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So even though Reedman didn't do anything, Matthew's done this. Boy, I think you broke the iron, Irony meter on that one, kiddo. <laughs> fucking calling people kiddo. Is it, this is the shit Lyo does. Shit, sit down, kiddo. And unless you're now claiming to be underage, boy, won't that be fun to tell your clients? <laughs> I don't see where you're coming up with these random pedo accusations. Good work, man. <laughs> Good work, man. Good lol cow channels around. <laughs> no worries. Man. Thank you. Thank you for the two dollars. Much appreciated. I don't, I, I don't see where you're coming from. And these random pedo accusations, well, I mean, other than the whole angry, desperate thing you got going. It's pretty typical with your type. 
You go around mouthing off, then you get put in your place by someone better. But oh no, you're from the little Johnny F uh, Flunk school of education, passed, uh, passed along from one grade to the next, always getting an A for having a positive attitude. Always having someone there to spoon feed you and wipe your ass for you. Never, <laughs> never once even tasting the bitterness of failure or inadequacy. <laughs> well, until you reach the real world anyway, then you meet someone like me, who pretty much bits, bitch slaps you eight ways to last Tuesday with your own stupidity. And so really, what recourse do you have? I mean, it's not like I'm wrong. It's not like you can actually counter any of the arguments or points I brought up in the email to your client. So what does little Johnny Flunk do in a situation like that? Yeah, that's right. You lie. You slander. You fuck Jesus up the ass with the business end of a steel rake. And you resort to the most pathetic, Hitler-inspired cliche of attacks. Crouching your failed response in the guise of, Oh, I read the accusation somewhere else but or by a doorknob, just like me, so it must be true. Let me tell you something, child. I've seen your little song and dance many times over. I've been on the net even before you knew what the internet was. I've been randomly accused of pretty much everything under the sun. From being a supposed paedophile to the po polar opposite contradiction of a paedophile, an adult baby. This, listen, I don't know about the paedophile stuff. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know if that's true. But this motherfucker is definitely into adult baby shit, okay? <laughs> and I can prove it! <laughs> to even the full embodiment of the Antichrist himself. himself. Your flailing, blind accusations, however, hold no weight. And unfortunately for you, you can't back, uh, back lies up with bullshit. So you fail, and that makes you angrier, doesn't it? So you do it again, and again, and again, and eventually an interesting thing happens. You become what's known to, by many as a hatter addict. Forever trying to get back at me for blistering your ass over my knee with reality. Rather than simply own up to your failings, little Johnny Flunk can never admit to failure, can you? So you get caught in a vicious cycle. Since, sad to say for you, nothing bothers me, ever. Hell. I once had a knock, uh, a, a <laughs> kook like you who went so far over the edge, he actually hacked and defaced the Nambler homepage with pictures and derogatory remarks about me. Now, honestly, child, if that didn't bother me, do you really think your little overcompensation is ever going to give me anything more than a bit of a chuckle? <laughs> snicker. He typed snicker. <laughs> This motherfucker sent an email to somebody and typed in the word fucking snicker. You're way out of your league on this one. You clueless webby and we, uh, you clueless webby and we netters. Well, you don't ever, uh, you don't ever go easy. Well, we don't ever go easy on your type. Anything you censor, delete or try, try and hide, we will repost publicly on Usenet. And no sparkles, you can't get things taken off Usenet. Once posted, posts are permanent. They can't ever be undone. They're forever. Has anyone ever used... Has anyone... Well, it's cool, this isn't it? Fuck. Has anyone, has anyone here actually used Usenet? Is anyone here that old that they're like, Yeah, Usenet, I, I remember Usenet. I use Usenet every day, what are you talking about? Still use Usenet. <laughs> <I've> never... <laughs> it's forever. And no amount of your bitching and whining to Flickr or, or any other entity has has nothing to do with Usenet at all. I, is going to bother listening to you so long as I follow the rules on their site. The key phrase being their site. Anything that happens outside of their domain isn't their problem. No matter how much you would like to try and make it so. I can understand the need, though, little Johnny Flunk is looking for a new parent figure to bail him out and make him feel warm and protected and special. Hate to break it to you, but I really don't think the guys who own Flickr want to take that particular role in regards to your shitty bit, uh, britches. It's high time you put on some big girl panties and learn to wipe your own ass, kiddo. Nods. Nods! <laughs> 
This is this. I love the idea that he was like, he needs to know that I'm right. I'll type in not. <laughs> Eventually, Odious realized his mistake and posted this to make amends. Wait, back up. Not the same uh, kook as originally posted. The kook who sent the threat email was the kook posting uh, in this uh, Flickr thread. Dead link. This kook's name is Kate Gilbler. He's one of the original Jeff Craft slurpers who was trying to talk shit about me for saying Flash was the failure of web uh, was the future of web design. <laughs> <laughs> they were fighting about Flash. Amazing. Needless to say, he's regretted that decision. Lol. I think I'll take this picture of his wife. Jesus Christ, Matty. <laughs> I, think I'll, I think I'll take this picture of his wife and do a little dick-sucking animation. Snickers. He he he. I'll make you famous. All you got to do is mouth off and post some pictures of yourself. Um, I hope this is giving you an impression of what this fucking guy is like. <laughs> Holy shit, disabled on disabled violence. Flash is dead now. Yeah, I think I think when they like finally killed Flash, Moulton, Mul Matthew Moulton died. Um, I'm gonna bitch and whine, you can't stop me. <laughs> True. Listen, <laughs> bitching and whining's good, bitching and whining is good. Sometimes sometimes bitching and whining gets results, doesn't it? <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> Mad Hatter's got this shit figured, Jules. Matthew likes to use various self-made terms to describe people. Here's a sampling. Netter. A Usenet regular. Also see Webby and RL. I've been a netter for 10 years, hanging mostly in the flonk and A26. Webby. A, a world... A World Wide Web WWW user who spends most of their time on web boards and surfing mainstream sites like Google, Amazon, eBay. Also see Netta and RL. I was all bitch slapping the regs of this fucking webby board the other day. RL. Another term for noob. It describes someone who has little to no experience with the internet or net culture. RLs often attempt to inflict their own backwards real life values and customs onto others. They also have a tendency to treat the internet as if it were an alternate form of real life, which is why they often get frustrated and upset because net life and net culture does not reflect what they ran away from in the real world. Also see Netter and Webby. There was some dumb fuck RL in here the other day whining at how we aren't uh, whining about how we weren't nice to him. Let's talk about homosexuals for a bit, shall we? <laughs> Now, you always hear people yammer about how unnatural homosexuals are and how perverted they are. And honestly, I think they've got it completely backwards. On the contrary, F-slurs are extremely important to the survival of this planet. To put it bluntly as possible, on a purely genetic level, I believe this is, this is, this is one of his blogspot posts, by the way. Now, you might be wondering what his blogspot was nice. Maybe this is a good time to... Uh, show you <laughs> to show you his blog his blog he had a blog we're going that far back now and i just like to this is a good preamble because it they'd sort of uh <laughs> clipped based listen listen i can i can say those things okay i've got i've got the pass i've got the pass it's fine it's fine Doing very well with not saying fag all the time. It's very difficult, okay? Oh, Christ. So, this was his blog back in the day. His little, his little space where he posted his thoughts and feelings. Uh, it was last updated... <laughs> as far as I can tell. In 2010... Do you know, do you know, it, it, we're reaching the point where there are people using the internet that when this was last updated, the, the, the fucking kids on the internet now weren't even born. They weren't even born! I was referring to the cigarette, I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, I'm bi, I'm allowed to say it. Right, okay, anyway. I was suddenly banned off the diapered anime forum without any explanation. 
or anything. It seemed like it happened shortly after I posted links to a bunch of comics and video stuff. So I guess maybe they saw it like competition or something. Shrugs. Well, anyway, I went ahead and removed all the available links to my stuff from that site. So nothing I previously posted there will work or show up at all. I was actually thinking it might be fun to turn all the links into Goatsy images, just to give him a great big horrendous mess to clean up. Having to go through all the dozens upon dozens of threads manually removing posts, lol. I had noticed though that it seemed like I do a lot of uh, like they do a lot of random banning. I looked at the admin's profile pages and they were just littered with messages from people asking why they were banned or why their friend was banned, etc., etc. I think it might be the case a, a case of USI unwarranted self-importance. The admins have gone a little too big for their britches, so to speak, and are basically power tripping and abusing their positions just to feel like they're important and powerful. This motherfucker, this motherfucker was complaining about Jannies in 2010. <laughs> Man, you really want to keep that super chat money? True. True. Every little helps. No, I'm kidding. Like and subscribe. Um, or, 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 or dislike. I cannot emphasize enough how, how little it matters to me. Like, engagement's engagement. You, the algorithm doesn't care. The algorithm... Actually, fucking, maybe the algorithm does care. I do think it's... Um, I do think it's pretty funny recently that Tipster got, like, delisted. Because <laughs> there's so much on the Tipster content. That made me fucking laugh. Anyway, hopefully here soon I'll get the problem solved though. I'm working on a rather massive custom built forum project that I plan to plug into my uh, Dreamation site. Unlike all other existing forums, mine won't have banning at all. But it will have blinders, where if a person's posts are upsetting to you, you can put blinders on yourself and block them out of your personal view of the forum. Basically, forcing people to either police themselves or just grow the fuck up and deal with it. Usenet style. No power tripping mods. No USI inflicted mummy moderators. No drama llama mod bu uh, bullshit ban hammers. It's going to be pretty epic too. I'll include user galleries so you can upload your artwork as well as public galleries. Sort of diapered anime only better. Uh... Hopefully, it should wipe all the other AVDL baby fur forums right off the grid. <laughs> and we'll be bring and we'll bring the entire community together into a cohesive, unbreakable whole. And that's really the problem with banning. You start banning people with no reason for idiotic, stupid reasons, and all you wind up is doing is splitting the whole community apart burning bridges and bottled up hate and carn uh, carnivorous divides so hopefully i can bring an end to the stupid bullshit this is this is a man who is so he's so dedicated guys dedicated to baby fur baby fur content now you may be wondering beckett you've got those you, you you must have found some of this shit to get to this point why why aren't you going your diaper anime and to that i say uh, fucking diaper anime is a hell site, even though I'm not fucking showing you. <laughs> diaper anime is another fucking level, okay? I, I said this on uh, Now Recording. I was like, has anyone seen, like, Thor Affinity? And somebody was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go have a look. They looked at it and they were like, why did I look at this? I was like, I don't know. I told you what it was. I told you what Thor Affinity was. Oh no, what is this lore? Sluggings. This is an ancient diaper-loving lol cow. It's what we're doing. It's what we're doing. <laughs> is it worse than... Do you know what? I don't know if it's actually worse than Yondere Dev, but he did make his own game. Spoiler alert. We'll get there. Okay. So we'll go, we'll go back. We'll read, we'll read, we'll read some more of this post, okay? This is extremely important to the survival of the planet. 
to put it on a blunt as pos uh, to put it as bluntly as possible on a purely genetic level nature itself has recognized that humanity is a fucking plague upon this planet and if not counted in some way will destroy the entire earth itself and all life upon it as such as a genetic failsafe, more and more people are being born homosexual in order to prevent mass breeding and to blunt the incredible overpopulation of the human species. Simply put, the more people who are gay, the less will, will be able to breed through conventional means and the less people there will be on the planet. Uh, Trez simp non. Simply, there's also an increase in people who are depressed. I believe this depression is a completely natural occurrence and is basically another kind of genetic failsafe. Basically, on the genetic level, your body knows that you're an evolutionary dead end. <laughs> so in order to prevent you from breeding and passing on your faulty genes, a trigger is kicked in on your brain to make you feel depressed that will make you want to kill yourself for the benefit of the species. <laughs> <laughs> why is there why is there more doodle tones wannabes this this guy this guy is the uh proto doodle tune doodle tones he's he he predates doodle i i do wonder i sometimes look at people like doodle tones and i think did you did doodle find this guy <laughs> and was like this is my personality now Again, it's completely natural, and anyone who feels overly depressed should be highly encouraged to end their lives as a gift to the rest of us who enjoy life and enjoy living. Their deaths will mean more oxygen for the rest of us, as well as reducing precious, wasted resources, which in turn will benefit the planet. And honestly, isn't the contradiction, uh, isn't the continuation of the planet more important than the life of someone who is depressed who wants to die? It really makes no sense at all to try and intervene and prevent such a natural and beautiful sacrifice to Mother Earth. Those that want to kill themselves... This is one of those things where if I didn't have this on the screen, I could just rant this at the stream. <laughs> Again, that, that might actually be enough to get me fucking cancelled. <laughs> Those that want to kill themselves should be praised and remembered throughout history as patriots and warriors in the fight to save the planet from the human disease which has infested her for so long. It's only because of selfish human perversion that we try and intervene in such a natural evolutionary step. Fucking... I don't even know what that face is. It's a happy face. I could go into stuff like perfect liquid websites and interpixel... <laughs> interpixel cru uh, cascade fusion, but that's peanuts to space when compared to his uh, infant uh, infantilism. Baby Matthew posts on Usenet. Baby Matthew posts on Usenet. Holy fucking shit. This was the manifesto that inspired Doodle, yeah. <laughs> this guy's spurred article is more funny than any new Chris Chan video. I think what's great about finding people like Molten is, uh, like, occasionally I'll be talking so to somebody for who's, like, internet veteran. Now, I I've said before, I was never a massive uh, ED user back in the day, so going through all these ed stuff is great for me because it is it's new to me as well but i did remember i i <laughs> i mentioned this to somebody and they went oh <laughs> i'd forgotten <laughs> but to be clear i mean if we go back to the article we're just going to go to the bottom firstly firstly oh fuck there's a <laughs> fuck his diaper obsession like all paedophiles, this fat retard is obsessed with everything ch uh, children and especially diapers. Uh, Molten had been fighting with ED. They've got a fucking scoreboard. They've got a scoreboard of all the times that he has had fights with different people and he's never won. Also, all this new bingo, bingo card shit. There's a, this, there was a bingo card. There was a bingo card. Make a hate psych. Use a bunch of socks, threaten frivolous lawsuits, lose real money in the in the process of trolling, massive backfire, threaten to call the police, threaten to uh, DDoS, cry about it on his blog, cry about it on Usenet, 
try to vandalize articles, threaten to hack the site, can't get banned, shit's own diaper, I'll just wait for it to destroy itself. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah eventually eventually he fucks off i believe the last time he was seen was like 2008 um and this was like a post uh for too long the ed community was forced to forced to watch with confusion as onadeus was repeatedly admin banned unbanned and then admin again for no discernible reason however in january 2018 the truth was finally revealed after the revelation of uh shekel swings now so for those who don't know ED was taken over by somebody who... ED has a weird history with its site owners and admins. Um, I believe this one ended up in prison for meth crimes. I can't... I, I'm very tired, guys. I can't, I can't keep them straight. Um... But he basically, oh yeah, he fucked with the site badly. Great betrayal and Onodeus' own accidental omission, see screen caps above, that for the last five years, Onodeus had been making regular payments to Zega in return for being unbanned, admin privs, his article being deleted and being protected from the wrath of the forum mods. Taking this new information into careful consideration, Lycancare, who at this point was now the final boss of the internet, made the decision to exile Onodeus from the lands of ED, thus ending this chapter in the Onodeus career on ED until his ine he inevitably makes a sock to vomit but hurt returns on TJC. I'm the same as I've always been. The only point is who I'm aimed at. You, uh, you kids like it when I'm aimed at shit you don't like. But when I back, uh, when I tilt back, at, uh, at point at you, then suddenly it's not so fun anymore. The only real reason I came back in force was because of Brian. Brian capitulated and subjugated himself to me in the form of taking down my article, an arbitrary request at the time, in order to get me back editing the wiki, making making articles and playing nice, mostly with a lot of you kids. No, Brian, no deal. You want to make a new deal with the devil, you get rid of liking care off the wiki. Which, to be honest, isn't asking for much. I mean, it's not like he edits anything, Lamau. Um, Enla has a bingo sheet for Lyo. I guess bingo sheet is requirement for any log out. It's true. It's true. I've just realized that you motherfuckers made a bingo card for me. I refuse. I refuse. No, I don't, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I really like my bingo card space. Um, okay. Um, uh, where are we at? Oh, fuck. He actually posted the bingo card. I didn't realize. We need the bingo card, true. I, I don't know, it's, it's fun to play bingo. It's fun to, it's fun to play. Anyway. The dark secret is that Matthew Moulton, for all of his blustering, is a man who, is an adult, who has an adult baby, baby fetish. He pretends to be a baby and wears diapers, as evidenced by his post on Usenet collects pictures of baby furs in diapers, once sold his treasure trove of diaper fetish content o uh, uh, over the internet, and has even published his own pictures uh, of about him being in a diaper. On the old portal of Evil Archives back in 2004, K. Thor Jensen and many other posters discovered that Hatter was a secret infantilist and diaper fetishist via the For Sale page hosted in Matthew's website. It is still easy to prove that this website was created, published, and curated by Moulton. The email address can be put into Google, and the single result that comes back is a post from uh, Hatter in a bodybuilding forum. Do you know what's really weird? And this will come. Back, this this is like a bit of a tangent, but we've got we do have a video coming out. We do have a video. It's taken longer because Jenny has found some really cool stuff. But uh, bodybuilding website, like body, bodybuilding forums, come up weird amounts. I've noticed this. I don't know what it is about fucking old image boards. I'm really interested to know whether it's the same bodybuilding forum. Um, forum talking about his famed backbuilding posting technique. Currently, I have several gigabytes worth of... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to make this clippable for you. I'm not going to do that. Uh, currently, at the time, Moulton had several gigabytes worth of adult baby video material that he'd collected. I'm currently selling a la carte video CDs for $5 a piece. Shipping is included for continental US. 
Each CD holds 700 megabytes of data. If you want a CD, all you have to do is go through the list below, choose the data you want, and then add up all the megabytes to determine how many CDs it will take. This motherfucker was selling fucking baby diaper fetish stuff over the internet in like 2004! <laughs> The most curious items on the page are Rugrats video clips, commercials for diaper brands, commercials with people in diapers in them, an astronaut training video, then still a drinking from a bottle and various cartoons. The most hilarious thing on the page is a wish list entry for fucking Nightcore episodes and any Jerry Springer episode that featured diapers. You know, to beat off to. When Mad Hatter was confronted with this on the forums, he merely said that it was a troll, that he was doing this for fun. However, the evidence is not limited to that one mere web page. The evidence is all over Usenet. Courtesy of John Kimball, the first part, and Hypertrophy, the second part. From Mad Hatter. Here's more food, uh, though. When you were 16, did you find other 16-year-old boys slash girls attractive? Now, why did getting older change your attraction? Oh, yeah, it didn't. From Hatter. On the subject of child sex, in most of the articles, it was about the child volunteering for the act to make a little money. The way you had worded it, you made it sound, sound like pedophiles were out there kidnapping and raping children against their will. From Mad Hatter. I bet that if I went through our family photo albums, I could find at least one nude shot of myself as a child. Maybe I'll scan it and post it all over the place. I'd like to see if I can get arrested for distributing child porn of myself. From Hatter. Let men take pictures, get money, buy food. Seems pretty simple to me. If you're a starving child, I'm sure most of the starving children couldn't really give a fuck one way or another if some sick fuck is jacking it to pictures of them. We could have been looking at Yonder A Dev. We could have been looking at Yonder A Dev. You made me do this! <laughs> <laughs> I'd be willing to bet, this is again from Hatter, I'd be willing to bet that it's just about all the pictures don't have anything to do with abuse at all. Just to be fair though, I might see if I can sum up enough effort to bother to go check out a couple of the pictures. This dude just fucking emails! <laughs> emails! Like, about fucking child porn is this Wash's dad. <laughs> it's proto Wash. Hatter decides to go and try and find pictures of himself as a child baby in which she was semi-naked so he can post it to that group. He's literally doing the, he's doing the ERP thing. Oh, does this thing. I fucking slash E. Who is responsible? <laughs> Who triggered Beckett? <laughs> Very hard to trigger me. Happens occasionally. Jesus Christ. Personally, I'd rather have them... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> If you ever if you ever want evidence that it's legitimately hard to get people arrested for internet crimes, I think M Matthew Moulton's that evidence. If you if you ever go through fetish websites and shit, you'll find that people just people just don't get fucking arrested ever. <laughs> Having a little variety in your sex life means switching hands. Baby Matthew Moulton, A.K. Mad Hatter, explains his lonely sex life. I have been incontinent. Oh my god. <laughs> I have been incontinent all my life and would like to talk to others who have to wear diapers and share experiences. I would also like any suggestions on which diapers have worked the best for you if you have ever worn them. I personally am into reins and harnesses and the likes, but then I have also found I like a lot of other fetishes as well, such as cross dressing, shocking, uh, pony training. Jesus fucking Christ. Bondage, being submissive, as well as others. I'm thinking about starting some other sites dedicated to stuff like that. Reins, harnesses, chastity belts, along with the usual diapers. Would anyone be interested in a site like that? If you want to see what my current site looks like, the address is Broken Link and Salvageable Through the Wayback Machine. That's actually not true. That is actually not true. It is salvageable. I know, because I found it. Um... 
Where the hell was this dude's glory spy agent? Was he ever arrested? If I, a CIA agent, would rather go to Iraq than to spy on these fetish websites. <laughs> and that's not all. He also likes to use di diapers as if he was a baby. Actually, if you want a really powerful diuretic drink, Mountain Dew, drink three or four cans and you'll be peeing like a racehorse every 10 minutes. Do that and wear diapers 24-7 and pee immediately upon feeling the urge. Eventually, you'll train yourself to do this, and every time you need to pee, you'll feel the urge, but it'll start flowing before you really know what's going on. This is what I did, and it worked really well. The problem comes in that Mountain Dew is also loaded with a ton of caffeine, and you can get addicted to it. If you stop drinking it one day, you'll get massive headaches and generally won't feel good. Ah, caffeine. One of the last truly legal drugs that doesn't seem to concern anyone. Remember when no one knew smoking could kill you. Now, I want to I wanna note one thing as well. Um, if you have been around the internet for the last five years... I, I probably... No, probably longer. Probably the last ten years. If you've been on the internet for the last ten years... And you, you've been to like degenerate, uh, like not degenerate places, but you've been to like Mimi places, or you've been to 4chan, or you, you've been to any of these places. I can almost guarantee to you that you have seen Matthew Moulton's dick. Okay? Why am I saying, why would I tell you that? Why would I tell you that? Because Matthew Moulton's dick is a meme. <laughs> Matthew Moulton has a micro penis. And if you have seen a micropenis on the internet, it is a good chance that it is Matthew Moulton's micropenis. <laughs> the only thing about this motherfucker that lives on in most internet culture is his fucking dick. <laughs> I've only been on YouTube and Twitter. Well, if you're on Twitter, you've probably seen worse, let's be honest. Twitter's a hellscape and I love it. I love it. Oh. oh. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. That's that's uh <coughs> Oh I'm dying, fuck. Oh okay if I die during stream, I'll just leave it playing. Oh fuck. <laughs> Ah. Uh. <laughs> wow, these posts spread out over the span of several years. Sure makes me believe that Onideus is orchestrating some kind of massing trolling operation on fucking Usenet, totally fooling everyone with his diaper fetish play conspiracy. Uh, diaper play conspiracy. The way he always sticks to a central identity of diaper play and adult infantilization, while somehow managing to connect his identities through one thread or another makes me think, oh fucking whatever, what happened to Matthew Moulton? Since 2010, the following happened. Blackwater Productions has been closed, and here's why from 2011. Chris Bolt, owner of DeviantArt, has likely started a massive D D DDoS attack on all my domain slash sites. This motherfucker is claiming that the owner of DeviantArt fucking DDoSed him. Now, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true, but if it is, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Which is why they're all currently down. At the height of the attack, he was shelling out around 1.8 million packets per second. This came after he suddenly banned my account on DeviantArt after idly mentioning ED. Claiming I was using multiple accounts. A lie. I then asked to get a refund of the payment I had sent the week prior for a premium membership, which was denied to me on the grounds of bullshit. I told them that was fine and that I would just have the bank do a cancel payment against them and then report them for fraud. <laughs> Fucking lunatic. <laughs> Afterwards, I registered the domain www.chrisbolt.com and then within 48 hours of all that, the attacks on my server slash domains took place. As I'm not currently involved in any other particular volatile trolling faming endeavours, it seems more than obvious that these attacks are being instigated by the owner of Deviant uh, DeviantArt, Chris Bolt. On an up note, I can fix the problem quite easily by getting a dedicated hosting account on Lunar Pages. The great thing about that is it would allow me to actually put up my data archive site as well as put up many other sites. 
Part of the reason I haven't been producing many new sites lately is because I was getting close to maxing the bandwidth of my account. So switching to a dedicated server will give me some, some more room to play with. At the beginning of April 2013, his websites aren't back up anymore. He got banned from Fur Affinity for insulting a dead poster. I actually think he's back on Fur Affinity. He's not posted there for a while, but his Fur Affinity account is, is up. It does exist. I know we'll get to that. <laughs> he is currently maintaining his own user page, uh, own user page on Encyclopedia Dramatica, including all the posts and pictures. That points towards his ill-advised username, Usenet misadventures. He has linked to his fucking Facebook account on his user talk page on ED. The Facebook profile picture is is full of album content, including the following: neat stuff I found at Walmart a recipe for pizza nachos, stuff he bought from Think Geek. I got the cereal toy, a Coke rewards folder, an album full of Thomas Kincaid pictures. Actually, his Facebook page is a seeming quality of normality. Certainly not much more than your regular nerd, except for the fucking baby fur pictures collections in the album section. Fuck this, I rest my case. Now. Ian Becky of Mutuals and Facebook. I wish I was that cool. <laughs> now, okay. So, why am I talking about Hannah? Well, firstly, uh, I actually think I'm going to talk a lot about Atta in the future because I because I think this is a great untapped and untapped bit of lore that people I think I've forgotten. It's a natural RPG. I'm glad you asked the question. <laughs> so. Hatter made an RPG. <laughs> now, now, okay, that might be overselling it a bit. We'll go, we'll go to Dreamation. Um, uh, where is it? Do, 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 do. Awesome news. No rest for the wicked. Uh, let me just. Oh. Uh, okay, let's go for this one. Uh, he he was making making a um an rpg on diaper fetishism uh thanks for the update what uh you have here is good i hope it's fun to play as it is to read about however you uh what you seem to have is more of a 3d cube than a 4d hypercube oh fucking hypercubes right okay actually we're just going to read the ed article we're just going to read the ed article because otherwise i'm gonna lose my mind we're gonna, i'm gonna steal some work but 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 it's uh it's all fair. I appreciate, I appreciate the amount of fucking A-logging people have done this motherfucker. Right. Let's talk about, let's talk about full, full speed, uh, fourth space. Fourth space was supposed to be a role-playing game with the adventure features of being a furry and pissing yourself. It would feature patterned Onidaeus style graphics. It would also contain a lot of realism presumably based around the life of Matthew Moulton. So it would feature a wetting system, where you constantly wet your diapers. The game was supposed to be made in RPG Maker XP by expert programmer Matthew Moulton, using the most primitive engine on the fucking planet, because he was unable to create them. The game would also be completely original by stealing material from Zelda, Manic Mansion, and Mega Man. Except now the character has the option of abs to, uh, option to absolutely piss themselves in their diapers. Not only that, but it would also contain stolen sprites from other people, mainly one guy. Hon Onideus claims once used his sprites without crediting him, so now he's going to recolor his sprites and steal them without crediting him to get back at him in some sort of petty revenge, as if this person cares. Onideus spent two years talking about his game that no one cares about, when he wasn't talking about being trolled by other f uh, I can't read that word, I'll get in trouble, and posting updates on his live journal. Obviously, said live journal, soon had to have anonymous comments locked when few people who gave a fuck about Onideus found it and came over to laugh at him. Eventually, production slowed down to a halt in 2010, when Matthew would Matthew became homeless for a few months, and when his site Backwater Productions, from uh, which the occasional $20 commission was his only source of income, went down, and all the content in it. It is likely Matthew kept copies, 
but be it due to embarrassment, loss of interest, or the final dawning realization of what a stupid and pointless idea this is, the content was never reposted and the topic was really mentioned again, ending his brief attempt to make something worse than Bob's game in spite of once criticizing him. If you pay close attention, you might have noticed that demos and other materials for this game were hosted on Matthew's personal business site. Yes, on the site he tried to get people to hire him for programming gigs, he also proudly hosted his half-made game about the joys of incontinence. Bet that really helped him get more jobs. The game was thankfully never released outside of a shitty demo. Now, never released outside of a shitty demo. Um... Um, <laughs> a what system? I mean, <laughs> a wetting itself system. It had innovative, uh, unique. Well, well, well. We'll hear his description of it at some point. We'll hear his description of this masterwork. Okay, might be one of those streams that I have to delete. <laughs> Oh, okay. If you uh, if you pay close attention, you might have noticed the other. Okay, yeah, okay. This game is an adventure where you play one of a group of children and furries trapped inside a nightmarish militant daycare center, where all children are required to wear nothing but diapers and regularly shit and piss themselves, regardless of them needing a diaper or not. To a normal person, this sounds like torture, child abuse, or in the best case scenario, the plot of some awful horror game. However, uh, but to Matthew, this all sounds like a pleasant experience that everyone can enjoy. This is probably the most telling quote about the nature of the game. As you can see, the underclassman uniform is basically a dress with a pair of white tights, which the boys will have to wear as well as the girls. This is done to assist in the ease of diaper changing, since all underclassmen are all diapered, most just as, uh, most just as a means of ge uh, general convenience, routine and scheduling, as well as the best means to curb any potential personal attacks and bad attitudes. Since some students have more wetting problems than others, the dorm mothers and teachers and such will let them use the bathroom if they need to go number two, uh, though, if they ask. Um, they basically go with the student to the bathroom, untape and take off their diapers. As a rule, students aren't allowed to touch or take off their own diapers. What is fucking wrong with diaper fetishes? I, like, it's one of those, like, fetishes where I look at it and I'm like, this, the fucking, what happened to you? <laughs> what fucking happened to you that this is your fetish? Doodle. Doodle, because I know you're paranoid, and and this is broken containment. Actually, I'll, I'll I will say something about the ACC stuff because I know I know we've talked a lot about it. The sole goal of Doodle, as far as I can tell, was to not have anyone outside the ACC talk about them. And Kristen Ark now knows they exist. Chris, Chris is aware. <laughs> I saw some. I've seen multiple other people now start covering the ACC. It's completely broken containment. This hasn't gone well for you guys. Some people are just born broken, true. Why did he make so, uh, so much law for this? Uh, okay, so if, if anyone here has ever looked into the brony community, you'll know that there's this weird obsession with having, like, law. There's got to be law. There's got to be stories about things. <laughs> Fucking freaks. And then after they finish, they'll either retake the old diaper back or put them in a fresh new one. Further, if the student breaks the rule for whatever possible reason, then the student is punished with having to wear mitties for a uh, variable period, of, uh, variable time period, which basically prevents them from being able to fuss with their diapers. The mitties look like this. I may wind up tinting them to be a a bit blush though like i did with the booties basically the mitties are a kind of first warning if you keep trying to fuss with your diaper then you'll get longer periods of time having to wear the mitties and then if even that doesn't curb the problem then there are other punish possible punishments such as corner time and rarely a spanking some kids that are special needs and really can't just help trying to fuss with their diapers are usually just kept in mitties most of the time except at meals and in class Gameplay. It would feature the following interesting and worthwhile gameplay. 
have IQ points, and the higher you go, the more easily you can figure out variable, various puzzle solutions. Maybe even some of that, uh, some that are impossible until you reach a certain IQ level. I fucking, I fucking hate this place. <laughs> I fucking hate this place. If you don't have the innate intelligence to solve a puzzle directly, you'll have to rely on old-fashioned information gathering as well as trial and error to come up with solutions. Essentially, if you get smart enough, you can basically bypass entire puzzles altogether. You can't separate your group until you get the walkie-talkies. You can only separate as far as the range of the walkie-talkies, and if it's an area that inter uh, with interference, then you can't split up. Basically, you have to always be in contact with one another. Maybe later, if you build up enough confidence points, then you can. That way, some areas can be inaccessible until you build up your confidence points. The more walkie-talkies you, uh, you have, the more your group can split up. Courtney, or a younger NPC, has been talking with a stuffed bear, which is actually an evil creature from the fourth space in disguise. Dear fucking God. Chris, I, I, Beckett, shut up, I have news. Oh, good evening, Chris. How you doing, buddy? Yes, a break. <laughs> I was just going through di a fucking diaper fetish just to what's, what's up, buddy. Do you want to phone me? You can just, <laughs> Chris, you can just phone me. Wait, what you got? What you got for me? Hold on. Yes. Uh, uh, copy current address. Oh, fuck. That didn't work. Wait, what? How did you do that? Fuck, phone me. Oh, there we go. Hey, Chris. Okay, listen. I have a genius idea, and I don't want to leave it yet because Diorio will steal steal it from me. Okay. But you know how Chud got striked by Dark Viper? Yes. You know how Dark Viper doesn't want anyone to react to him because his face is copyrightable. <laughs> yeah. I I may or may not have found a workaround for anybody that doesn't like to have their content reacted to, and I still get to react to that content. Yeah, I mean, I'm live. I really want to know what it is, though. What I can't fuck? tell you. I can't tell you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you. Because <laughs> Diorio's going to fucking come swooping in and steal the idea. Oh, fuck. Okay, so is that is, is, is Dark Viper going to be your test ground? Is that going to be the next stream? This, is, this, is, this might actually break the YouTube system. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be real. I'm pretty sure this might actually cause a problem for cop for fair use. Hold on. Don't show it on stream. Mute yourself, and I just want to hear you laugh at it. Like literally turn off the audio on your stream. Okay, okay. Give me a second, guys. You can't see. You can't. You can't see what I'm seeing. You can all. All. All stream can hear is my voice. Okay. I. I haven't. I haven't seen his response yet. It's considered to rails way stream. I yeah, I'm so I, I. Oh, you fucking yeah! Actually, fuck. I think that I think that'll actually work. I think that'll actually work. What well, did you did you see my James Summerson video? So. <laughs> okay okay you're chat chat's only got one side of this conversation okay you're I, i'm not i won't put any more 
You're, you're back on yeah. the air. They can but hear you, you again. You they get, can hear you again. They you can get, hear you again. But you get what I'm gonna do. Oh, I get what you're gonna do. I think that's I think that's good. And then it it yeah no yeah I, I, yeah yeah. And then, <laughs> this is brilliant. I don't think anyone's thought of this yet. I think I think it's a dedication, buddy. So is that gonna be the next stream? Is that is that what we're gonna yeah. see live next? That is gonna be the next stream. I think for him and his lawyer, who's watching everyone like a hawk, they aren't gonna see it coming. They won't. The lawyer, the law, the copyright lawyer won't know what to do. I think I'm gonna short circuit the lawyer. Well, I mean, actually, like, because the precedent's fairly new, but it has been set. So, yeah, no, I, th I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna cause a problem on YouTube. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You're watching diaper fur shit. I'm going over. I'm going over a very old locale from like 2004, like 2005. Uh, basically, he was a diaper fetishist. Uh, he created his own diaper fetish RPG. He has one of the longest Encyclopedia Dramatica articles. Hey, JFA, thank you for the two dollars. Is Chris flashing you true? Um, who mine or JFA's? Oh, his face is frozen. <laughs> yeah, he's, he has a frozen face. <laughs> Oh, you like Dark Viper AU? Well, he's a pussy. And a dumb bitch. <laughs> he's a pussy, a bitch, can't handle criticism. I, I like, yeah, like... 14 pages! <laughs> 14 pages? I can't believe. I, I haven't finished watching all of Chud's thing. I got, I got annoyed at Chud's chat. <laughs> I got annoyed at everyone like, you could sue him! I'm like, guys, come on, fuck on. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't sue him. He's got more money and it's overseas. Yeah, it's it's... Fucking ridiculous. I will say I will say the Dark Viper stuff is I'm I'm glad Chud uh leaked everything though. Uh Yeah, it's, it's getting funnier. <laughs> yeah. I mean what did he think? What did you think he was gonna do? Like and this is the thing, like if you're trying to DMCA someone, YouTube was obviously gonna tell the fucking person. They couldn't just remove the video randomly. Oh, no, no, by their own law by their own law and copyright law, the DMCA, you have to release logs of the DMCA because now it's gonna become a legal matter. So YouTube, regardless of what Dark Viper wanted, had to release those emails. I want to know who his lawyer was. I want to. I, I want to. Some idiot in Australia. I mean, like, in my, is it your first day? Fuck. Uh, like... Apparently, dude, did you not see, bro? In the video, he shows a Google document with all of my tweets, Tom's tweets, Nick's tweets, Chud's tweets. Like everybody who tweeted about Dark Viper in a negative way or made videos. I'm in the document for my video on him. Like, oh my god, I didn't I didn't realize. I need to go back. I need to go back and watch the rest of it. Holy fuck. Everyone everyone's in there. Every single person that talked about Dark Viper AU poorly, his lawyer went through all of their content and made a Google document on who like who said what. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is that, a real situation. That's insane. I don't understand what's wrong with people as well. Like, especially content creators who've been around for a while. And like, I I saw the clip that's been going around on Twitter recently where he's like, he's just doing it to mock me. He's using, he's got me on a soundboard to mock me. It's like, yes, oh people God, are going to take the pussy. piss out of you. Who who fucking cares? What's wrong with you? Soundboard and Ethan makes fun. Okay, so I was in an interview with uh with Sleepy, and he asked me like we were talking about Dark Viper. And I was like, he goes, well, Ethan's harassing me. I was like, okay, well, which is worse? You being on a soundboard and just like as a, uh, a meme on his channel? Or do you want to be the topic of his channel like Vosh where you have Lollicon on your computer yeah. and you get made fun of in front of 50,000 people on a daily basis about your Lollicon folder? Which one is Which one would you construe as harassment then? And he was... <laughs> I, I don't think any of this is fucking harassment though. You're it's especially not, with like, yeah. in his brain. In his brain, he's getting harassed. So what does he think of the Vosh stuff? Does he think that's like malicious shit? Do, do you know what? I it's one of those things where because he's a gameplay uh streamer as well. Can you imagine can you imagine if like this was applied to him and a game company was like, Oh, actually you're stealing your IP by using it as your content? He'd lose his fucking mind. You know? Okay. <laughs> Whoever is Hornet tweeting underneath my tweet, God, this Dark Viper AU video is so fucking bad. And then the retard Papa G is like, how's this video bad? One of your fucking audience members went under there and linked the stream. 
for the Papa guy. Wait, wait, Papa G. Oh, Papa G, you're the dude from Twitter. Yeah, you're retarded. <laughs> like, you're actually fucking brain dead. You you have you drink soylent like fucking uh, ant venom, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is fucking godless. So, okay. <laughs> I think this idea is gonna work. I think I think I'm I either think... gonna destroy the YouTube system or this is gonna be so retarded. I think I I, I think I think it'll actually yeah I think it'll work. How long? Out of interest, like without saying what it was, how long did it take you to produce? Twenty minutes. <laughs> 20, 20 minutes it put, 20 minutes it took all that time to put together <laughs> to be honest i gotta i gotta give credit to confusing and smaggle they were the ones that had this brain child i just said fuck it let's do it on my channel i it's smaggle getting smarter i feel like smaggle i i, I, I feel like smaggle might be getting smarter <laughs> that's that's worrying it's kind of like in know. Jurassic Park when they find out the raptors can open doors. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, that's literally where we're at with the smaggle cycle. He knows how to open a door. <laughs> oh my god. I wanted to give you that. No one else knows. Like, not, not a single person. I think you and Sleepy and FPS Diesel know. Because I had to get an optics check from FPS Diesel and Sleepy. That's bad. And Diesel's like, great for that. You're live. I'll just... I'll like fuck it. You're live. I'll just give it to you and see what you think. I think it's fucking hilarious. I I because I don't know um, how you respond to that because of where the uh, it's really hard to discuss what I'm saying. What it is, but yeah, I I I don't think there's anything he can do. I think it's it's fuck all. Um, yeah, so yeah. yeah, yeah. He can't. He literally can't touch me with what I'm about to do. I already titled the video. I'm not kidding. I titled but, the live stream. What? what when's it? it? When's it out? When you? When you doing it? I'm doing it tomorrow at okay. 3 p.m. EST, and the title is "Reacting to the Dark Viper Video." A new video in full. Try to strike me. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna go great. I think that's gonna be really fucking banger. Actually, I think it's gonna be really good. That's fucking hilarious. Holy shit. All right, I got to finish some last little tweaks on it. I'll talk to you later. Okay, peace, Chris. Let's, buddy. <laughs> okay, three p three p.m. EST tomorrow. Go watch Chris's stream. I think I think that's gonna be really funny. <laughs> that's oh fuck. What's what what time is that for me? Hold on. I said fuck. Yes, maybe. I, I'll be in chat. <laughs> I'll be in chat tomorrow. Fuck it. <laughs> it's completely derailed me. Oh, well, I don't understand how... How is Viper in the wrong? Okay. So. Um, <clears throat> now, I have not followed the Viper stuff super carefully, but I can... Obviously, you, we think about React content and everything else. Uh, I tend to think about what I do as not really that much React content. I kind of do dive content most of the time and try and pick things apart. Now, React content back in the day was things like Fine Bros. It was literally sitting there and like your reaction was the content. It was fucking awful. But the, the arguments from Viper are that uh, like if you make content and other people then use that content in like any way, they're stealing it from you. Um... Everyone begs, borrows, and steals from, from everything. The point is, are you producing something new? Are you making more out of that content that's origin than what's originally there? I'm going to give you an example of something that uh, is, is, is not good, a good use of content. And it is... Uh, I, I am using this because I know I'm about to get shit for doing this. Um... I know I'm going to get shit for doing this, but I'm doing it because it is the current example that jumped into my head, okay? Okay, so recently, after some drama, I know I know we're derailing, I know we're derailing, I know we're derailing, uh, that's fine, that's okay, we're going we're gonna to look at this. So recently, um, no, that's not Viper's issue, I think the Viper's issue is that Chud used all of his video content in his React video. But the video, but that, okay, so Viper's video is like 10 minutes long. Chud's video is 35. Even, 
even if Chud is watching the whole of that section, firstly, it's a section, the section, um, as far as I'm aware. It's not like it wasn't the full video anyway. It doesn't, doesn't matter. It's just a reaction to, to that. Now, I, I want to give an example of what's bad um, kind of use of someone else's content. This is Peepar's new video on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Okay. Uh, Peepar, Peepar is coming back to the internet. I'm glad to see it. I don't dislike Peepa, but he's coming back doing something very different. Uh, and what that is, is this fucking um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory video. Now, you can see, we're going to just watch a little bit of it. We're just going to watch a little bit of it, okay? It's a trip into the magical world of Willy Wonka, an eccentric chocolatier. The time is the 1930s. Mr. Doll is so here we've got people going through all the different content. And all the different, like, iterations of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Trailer's up. Awesome. Evan. Evan has a new trailer up. Um, go, go and check it out. It should be good. It should be good. Uh, mods link Evan's channel. Uh, we want the Andre Dev. We'll get there. We'll get there. Eventually. Uh, now, I want to show you what terrible fucking uh, use of someone else's uh, content is. Cool. Thank you for the membership, buddy. Hope you're good. Hope you're awake. Um... I would feel the same way if someone were enacted to a two-hour movie, but its collective pauses were five hours combined. Uh, yeah, of course I would. Yeah, that's that's what fucking Mystery Science Theater was. That's what Repso plays were. I, I mean, this argument. Okay, so the problem with this argument is, let's say, let's say I'm a gaming streamer, like Dark Viper. Is Dark Viper's gameplay infringing on the intellectual property rights of whatever game he's playing? Of course not. If Rockstar came and DMCA'd the whole of his channel and was like, that's our gameplay footage, you can't have it. It's ours. We want players to experience that themselves. We don't want you playing. That's, that, that, like, that's fucking crazy. Um, so, yeah, like we, we haven't hold, held this standard for ages. When Nintendo does that, we call them out. Now, I'm going to show you what bad use of other people's content is. And this is not me taking a shot. It's just a really great example. This is bad use of someone else's content. Riveter wants to explain. Um, it wants to explain a a um a conspiracy or like fan theory within the Wonka about Willy Wonka and the Charlotte, Charlotte Factory. I'm just going to watch how he does that. Well, that concludes this video. Oh, that's right. I hinted at a fourth movie. Well, let me introduce some of you to a movie called. The Snowpiercer and the theory that relies around it. The Snowpiercer is a post-apocalyptic science fiction movie based on a graphic novel entitled La Transpersonage, I'm sure I butchered that, by Jacques Lobb. However, some believe that it is in fact a possible sequel in the Wonka universe. This clip from a video by creator Wonka I'm just giving you an example of what he like um plays through. Uh, like like he's got a little bit of footage here as he basically explains what the movie is. Uh, I think Viper has responded to that already by saying playing the game is a completely different experience to watching it. I'm not saying I agree, that's just what Viper thinks. Maybe what Viper thinks, but he is wrong. <laughs> he is he is wrong in that that's true of everything. Watching a video or watching a recording of a live stream is different from being in chat in a live stream. Right now, Papa G, you are in my chat interacting with me. We can we can converse in some way that's limited. But if you're coming to this stream later and you're watching like me as a recording, that's a different experience, right? It's gonna feel different. You can't have your say, you can't have your input. If somebody comes and reacts to a stream. That's that's also going to be a different experience because you're not getting just the streamer's impression, you're getting another person's. So yeah, everything is like um, an involving process, which I think is kind of an important thing to know. But this is like just a bad example. Same thing about it was that it reminded me of my favorite movie of all time. This the rest of this section. It's just somebody else's footage who is explaining the thing. Peepa could have explained the thing. He didn't. He just used someone else's video. Now, this is tra transformative content. It meets the uh, like 
barriers. It's just a terrible way to do it. Okay? So, like, you, there are definitely good ways and bad ways to, like, attack these things. Also, I want to point this out. I want to, I want to point this out because I think it's important. The point of, like, um, archival channels, for example, is just to re-upload content. And that's important because so much content ends up as lost media. Just if you value your content, you should probably be okay with archival channels. It, as long as they're not monetized. What's the difference? And if you've got um, like if you've got intellectual property that you really care about and you care about people seeing and reading, if it's not just a money thing, I mean I've got this. Because I've got the I've got ownership of the royalties for um my mum's novels. Now, I tend not to go and try and take down websites that repost her books because I just want people to read them. I think ultimately, like, people aren't going to pay for that shit anyway. If they, if they, if you're going to the extent of pirating PDF, you're not going to pay for it, so fuck it. Anyway, I'm very off track now. For the record, I don't entirely agree with Viper. I'm just surprised how Viper people have watched his videos, listened to his... I'm just I'm surprised how view people... who. Uh, who watches videos slash listens to his arguments. I think the problem as well is, uh, with Viper, to be really clear, is he's so fucking angry, uh, he's turning himself into a lol cow. He's, he's, like, if you're going to be fucking like this on the internet, like this person who we've been going over, who is literally just somebody who is so insane constantly and posting about fucking anything um that it, it slightly annoys him while also talking about being pro pedophile and pro diaper fetishist yeah people are gonna laugh at you you turn yourself into a clown if dark viper hadn't reacted to chud ironically if dark viper hadn't reacted to chud chud had done his little piece on dark viper and Dark Viper hadn't reacted none of this would be happening i wouldn't be having this conversation there wouldn't be hours more content both created and coming him and his gay vests are insufferable. <laughs> I always change the thoughts. Fuck that guy's vest. Also, he tried to keep Chud uh, from knowing he might be getting sued. Yeah, like, this is low cow behavior. If, let me put it this way as well. If, if, you had a, um, if you had a politician who was trying to silence their opponents by using the legal system against them, you'd want to know about it. you want to know about it. It is a little over the top, lol. I always assumed it was uh, partially done for entertainment purposes. No, it wasn't. He's just he's just really insensitive. Like I get it. I get it when you've got like a favorite streamer and you want to defend them. I, I this is why I'm talking to you because I think I think that's fair. I I, I think that there are going to be people you're like I really like this person. I'm sad that this is happening to them. But yeah, it's just uh, it's just low cow behavior. So song and politician. Yeah. Hey Becca, I'm done with work now. You c can we start over? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> No, no, we can't. Um, wind the fucking stream back. We're on YouTube now. I'm kidding. Hey, Bruce, that's how we had a good night at work. Um, I think this whole drama could have been resolved if Viper and Chud just both talked privately. Um, I mean, potentially, if Viper hadn't tried to take his video down, let, let's be clear what a DMCA strike is. If you get three of those on your channel, your channel's gone. All that work or you, you, for, for like people like Chud, where it's their job, their, their income source is gone. It's not like a little thing, like a DMCA strike. And Viper didn't want to talk. He wanted to keep it all hidden. And when YouTube said, no, this meets the requirements of transformative work, he continued to badger him. Chud has a strike on his channel now. Like, that's incredibly shitty, and we all understand how shitty that is. Um, you know, Viper is a freak and has been a freak, true. Um... I think you guys are making good points. No worries, but like, again, like I'm happy to talk to people when they've got like a genuine. I and I think you do have a genuine thing where you're like, nah, this. I am confused by this, and that's fair. It's why it's why all of us get really het up about things like uh, unfair DMCA. Actually, I mean, I get I get annoyed at like legitimate DMCA occasionally, where you're like, there's not a lot of transformative things here. I'm like, so leave people's channels alone. Um. Same uh, bullshit, uh, the MCO uh, that White Nervosa tried, yeah. Nobody that YouTube can lower their ego to talk about 
uh, talk with somebody like a normal person. That's not entirely true. I mean, I've had I've had YouTubers who've had issues with me, and they've just come and talked to me about it, and they were fine. They were fine. There are people out there. It's just you never hear about them because it doesn't cause drama. Funnily enough, I don't know if anyone saw uh, Jesse at Kiel's stream last night with Doom Media. Uh, actually, I'll bring that up. I'll bring that up. Um, where is it? Where are you? Here we go. So this happened last night, and this is a really good. This is a really good example, I think, of just fuck fucking talk to people, and then do what you say you're gonna do. I'm gonna give you the TLDR for anyone who doesn't know. This person here, Duma Media, disappeared about two years ago, has come back, uh, made a Vosh video, someone gave him a load of money, he repaid some of that money with content, and then disappeared still, uh, and, like, it wasn't, like, a loan, but it was, like, he he, he says he feels bad, it's a back, bit of back and forward. Uh, this person here, STV Philly, contacts Duma, says, hey, you're back on the internet, you owe somebody about... 1800 to 5000 pounds i i have no fucking idea right these keep people keep saying different numbers uh, he contacts duma duma says that's cool i'll pay it off either through work or through money and we'll set up a payment plan we'll start doing that in a couple of weeks no problem stv Philly then goes to president sunday who fucking hates duma media because duma media's video on Vosh got more views than him as far as i can tell that's what it appears to be and Sunday blows the entire thing up, and it turns into a huge fucking argument of them screaming at each other. Yeah, and I just want to be very clear to everybody that the only reason Sunday took this honor as grandstanding is because he hates Doomer. It's very obvious. I also hear you. I'll, I'll lose a message with the messenger. In furtherance of paying off the Hassan video. Furtherance of paying off what? What extra work? Where's the evidence of this? It blew up into an entire, entire fucking argument. It's so, it's so painfully retarded. This whole thing was so painfully retarded to listen to because I, I don't cover uh, kind of DGLD type drama very often, and I didn't want to cover this. But I watched the entire thing, and it made me want to fucking kill myself. <laughs> if you talk to somebody and agree something, just do the fucking thing. Holy shit! I hate Queeman's Wiggler. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was very funny when... De so Destiny ended up on the stream. Uh, and uh, everyone was like, Queeman, don't you have anything to say to Destiny? He's like, uh, you know, I've been a bit mean to you. I'm like, Queeman, you fucking hate Destiny. <laughs> say it with your chest, buddy. No, it's fine. I think you just don't want to cause trouble. Uh, I actually... Okay, so a lot of people are like, I don't understand why Queeman won't say shit to Destiny now. He's actually here. It's because he's not... He's trying not to cause trouble for uh, Just Deck. That's why. Because they're friends. And he know and Queeman knows that if he comes on and starts attacking Destiny on Just Extreme, then it could cause issues for Justic and his content and his relationship with DGLG. Um DGLG. Ha! <laughs> DGG. So he doesn't want to do that. Uh that's that's the reason. I I, I am almost ninety nine percent sure. Uh, don't know much about Doomer except uh, that he apparently had a meltdown on EFAP. I, yeah, I don't really know much about Doomer. I'll be honest with you. I, I kind of don't, don't fucking care. I'll be honest. There's there's so many little fucking dramas that go on all the time, and often it's who's blowing shit up. Just if you want to handle things privately, if it really matters to you, try and handle it privately. And also, here's here's another thing as well. And I speak from experience. Um. I tend not to say anything in private that I'm not prepared to see said in public because eventually there is a there is a there is a, like at least a twenty percent chance that anything you say privately is going to get leaked. It's just a reality. But the only time I it, I got pissed off about this recently because I was like I've, I've clearly come to somebody with something private and they immediately leaked it because they were trying to get a dunk on me and then I was just like well okay. I, I fuck you. <laughs> so if you if you want to if you want to actually get people in and have conversations with people, if you want to kind of do that, you kind of have to maintain like at least the pretense of good faith with them. Uh, these are all basic YouTuber and like content creator tips. Otherwise, people will tell you to fuck off and not want to deal with you anymore. Um, that was very vague, posty. But anybody who's been watching me long enough knows that exactly who I'm fucking talking about. Anyway. Uh, 
all I know is apparently he said something really silly. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I hate how people will act nice to your face but talk bad behind your back. Look, I, I mean, like content creators are gossipy bitches. I, I'm just, I'm just being real. we especially drama content creators. Um, we, we all like, we all like gossip. We all like tea. The, the reason it's our content, right? It would be weird, it would be weird for me if in my free time I wasn't like interested in finding people like this. I don't just do it for the stream, I find stuff, there is so much stuff that I find that I have no way to present to you. Uh, I'll give you, I'll give you an example of that actually. I'll give you an example of somebody who I go and watch because I think they're funny, but um, I can't do anything with them. Where are they? I think this person is actually fucking hilarious. Um, but I can't do anything with it. Uh, it's like two years ago. Where's, where's the one I want? Um, is it under popular? Might be under popular. Uh, yeah, it's this one. This is Bionic Dance. Now, the first time I ever saw Bionic Dance, I want to be really clear at how I found Bionic Dance. I found Bionic Dance through a random... They're, they're an atheist YouTuber. Don't, don't worry about it. It's not important. It's not important. But the first time I ever found them, they were at a convention, completely fucking naked, painted blue with a rainbow wig on because they were cosplaying as Rainbow Dust. Rainbow Dust? Rainbow Dash. There we go. They were, they were completely fuck-ass naked as as rainbow dash at a, a convention of some kind and i just thought i have to know who this person is i have to understand who this person is and i have to, i can't present that content to you because i can't show you this person naked on stream <laughs> did you just say can i quote you on that let's do this Over my time on you. I <laughs> just... <laughs> Everything about this is like a fucking parody of a, like, Christian pastor video. It's actually... <laughs> it's actually fucking incredible. YouTube, I'd said various things in various places. YouTube comments... <laughs> I just like the hair flick. It's so good! <laughs> blog posts, the like. And they were... I thought, good thoughts, but not enough for a whole video. I've been collecting them together for a while, and it seemed worth putting them together in a comp- So, this is just an example. This is just an example of what I do in my free time, okay? <laughs> I clearly I have too much of it, right. Oh, that's a, it's a, it's a preview. Okay. I, wanna, I do want to get through the. Uh, I do want to get through that stuff. Does anyone have any other further less autistic Christian? Um, <laughs> hey Mumbles, did I see Mumbles in the chat? By the way, hey Mumbles, how you doing, buddy? Um, fuck. Uh, <laughs> please cross off random tangent on Beckett. Listen, I blame Chris. Chris. Chris fucking distracted me, and now here we are. Um, it's pointless. I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette. Um, but yeah, I think I think the stuff with Dark Viper is he should have shut the fuck up. He should have shut the fuck up, and then no one would have cared. No one would even still be laughing at him. No one would give a shit. But he did this, and now we're on a, like a whole nother fucking content cycle with it. Maybe I do need to cover that at some point, actually. Um. Oh fuck. There's a trick to the internet, and it's if you don't want drama. Stop talking about it. People will lose interest. There's too much other shit. This dude is one of the biggest old school lol cows, and most of you have never fucking heard of Matthew Moulton. Because he just disappeared. Need a cigarette? Fuck, okay. Do we have a prize for anyone who wins the bingo? Sorry, I haven't really been chatting. I've been playing Horizon Forbidden West. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm going to be playing Dragon's Dogma after this. It's actually really good. I really like it. I'm really happy with Dragon's Dogma. It's really, it's really hard, though. And I can't, I can't unlock the trickster, and it's annoying me. Mm. 
my DVAU an official locale, Lamau. Um, read out what have we got on the bingo? I got four out of five spaces. God, I've not read the bingo card enough to actually know where, like, what what's on it well enough that I can help people win. Um, what are you playing, Beckett? <laughs> okay. Okay, where were we? Basically, uh, this, uh, this is the summary. This is the summary. Now, okay. So, when when Merritt first came in, when Merritt first came in, he was like, are we going to see the gameplay footage? Now, as far as I'm aware, there is no gameplay footage anywhere on the internet. All there is are screenshots. Okay, there's no video. There's nothing. This guy worked on this for years, by the way. Now, I, I want to be real honest with you all. For anyone who's ever used RPG Maker, I used to make games with RPG Maker back when I was like fucking 12 or 13. We'd make them for our friends. And like we'd all have little fucking RPG Maker games and we'd play them. And they'd have lots of inside jokes. They're really... Uh, RPG Maker is a fucking awesome system. It's so easy to put games together. I fucked up in Dragon's Dogma and had to start over from way... Uh, way back, so we are not on speaking terms right now. Um, so he spent years working on this. Now we're gonna we're gonna have to go to a truly degenerate website. Uh, this is Fur Affinity. For anyone who's never seen Fur Affinity before, this is Fur Affinity. This is in fact on Adeus's Fur Affinity post because the game does exist. <laughs> At least the demo of it. Um. It is. It, 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 it's here. It's on Fur Affinity. <laughs> he fucking posted it six years ago. He returned to post this. I was working on an ABDL themed game a while back. Well, a long while back, I guess, like 10 years. Anyway, I thought might be in people might be interested in the demo, which hasn't been available for like a decade. It features real-time interactive bladder controls, which I believe is a first for any game slash demo. F fucking my god, I hope so. Likewise, equipment actually affects the look and interaction. Like, you can take off your original school outfit and the sprite changes and the dialogue changes too, where she yells at you and tells you to put your clothes back on. Likewise, certain clothes you can take off and some you can't, like your diapers. Not to mention audio interactions. Once you put in, once you put in diapers, you crinkle when you walk. Basically, it's a short demo showcasing the interactive uh, variability. When you start out in your regular clothes, for example, you can use the toilet before you have an accident, but not before your urgency and fullness gets high enough and you have to take off your underwear before you can use the toilet. Likewise, once in diapers, you can be checked but won't be changed until the diaper is three-fourths wet. Further, if you're exploring and the diaper becomes completely soaked, you'll get in trouble. And, of course, the uh, absorbency meter, which also changes very... Uh, variably depending on what you're wearing panties for example have zero absorbency so yeah that's pretty it's a pretty simplistic demo but it shows the general direction i was heading with if i start working on it again big if i'd like to overhaul a lot of the sprite um material i'd like to create some hybrid sprite models that will cross between maple story stuff and the original rpg maker xp stuff basically a large head like um Maple story, but then a larger sized body to better match. Chances I'll come out with a more complex demo at some point here in the next few weeks. That'll be more like an interactive short story, which I think will probably pique people's interest a bit. I might start a Patreon project for it. If enough people are genuinely interested, I might get serious about actually making it into a real game. And then he's just got a load of links and explaining how fucking RPG Maker XP works. Uh, I... I... I fucking, I'm I'm shocked it still works in a modern system. Uh, wanted to stop back in and quickly say thank you for providing arguments against me in good faith. Most arguments I've seen against Viper up to this point hadn't and just uh, hadn't just told me Viper sucks. No worries, my my pleasure. I try to I try to engage with people and be nice. You know, it's it's easy. And then if people are cunts, then I then I mean, um, <laughs> none of these words are in the Bible. <laughs> It's a godless age. I, I want to give you some of the reviews back. 
I might check this out when I get a new gaming computer. You do not need a gaming computer to play this, okay? It's an RPG XP maker fr game, you fucking idiot. Uh, I can't download it. Can uh, This is a load of, load of, load of shit. Uh, it looks to be a good start so far. Any messing in this game. I really like the music in the game in the open world. I hope one day you release a full version. I really like what I see here. I hope this can be a full game someday. This motherfucker posted four years ago, three years ago, and eight months ago. Where's the game on a dais? I want to play in the diaper shitting game. <laughs> now, the real question is, do you want to see the game? Do, do you want to see it? Do you, do you want to see the diaper shitting fetish game? Is that something, is that something that you'd enjoy? I can intuit what messing means. Would you like to see the first ever playthrough of this fucking game? You know, stay up and play. No, please, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay, is it this one? I need to work out where I put it before. Um. Okay. Yes. Yes, the first and only playthrough. Hey, pigeons! Thank you for the membership. Much appreciated. I need to do a members thing. I need to. I need to steal like Matt's pit, like Matt Pitt's thing. Um, we made it this far. True, true. We did. Um, okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of all that. And let me get. Let me get this up now because it's RPG Maker. It's fucking tiny. Okay, it's fucking tiny. Uh, let's hope this works. I've tried. I've tried to get this running. You, the length I have had to go to to get this thing fucking running, I cannot tell you. Okay, RPG Maker XP is not. It's not good for exporting stuff. Oh, can you hear that music? Um. <laughs> oh fuck! How am I gonna do this? Uh no, not you. Not you. I think I had it under this. Okay. So, first things first. Move myself here for a second. Make myself bigger. Okay. Because I don't I I guess <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna cover up the anime girl. The anime, it's not too bad, I just don't want to show it on stream, okay? So this... I'm using myself to save you all. Oh, fucking hell. Fuck. That music a bit. It's so insufferable. Okay, we'll go a new game. We'll go a new game, we'll do it. You see, it's like shut down, continue. That's it. That's 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 it. That's the grand scheme of things. Okay. Make myself smaller again. Yay. This, ladies and gentlemen, is fourth space. <laughs> that's even enemies ammo. We're gonna go play a little bit. Okay. You can see up here, you've got your absorbency gauge. Your urge gauge and your fullness gauge, which which grows over time. Now this is the only room where there's any programmable stuff, I believe. If it, it will if it will even let me do anything, uh maybe. Well, are you gonna let me? Maybe not. Holy shit! I can't even I can't even interact with anything. I swear I could before. No, never mind. Uh, okay. We'll talk to talk to this person. What <laughs> record speed run? Nothing. I'm okay. Well, let me know if you need help with anything. 
Okay. Good point. Global Thermia and the Nuclear War. That sounds like a fun game. Do you need to have a timeout in the corner? Yes. Well, you can't yet, because I haven't finished making the character sprites for it. Instead, you can stand and pounce if you like. Just another boring book, but at least the colour is pretty. I, this is the only room with interactable stuff. There are items. You found some baby powder and baby oil. Yay! It's an outside world. You got a sandbox. You got these are these are all like one one like line. You can't you can't interact with them. Sorry, I haven't programmed this, but eventually you'll be able to pick it up, carry it around, and then toss it in the air. The RPG Maker default music. Yeah, this is the only interactable thing that moves in the game. This is it. This is, it. This is all you got. <laughs> That's just it. Now, like, there are other buildings. Now, I want to, I want to introduce you to the post-apocalyptic hellscape that is this man's world. The phone? No, seriously, it really is. This is where patients sign in. This, this is it. There's no other characters other than other than your sp this sprite and the like fucking dorm matron person. That's it. It's a completely dead, empty world, and I think it is one of the most horrific and depressing things I've ever fucking seen. Oh, hold on. I need to show you the menu system, don't I? Items: baby powder. It makes you feel dry and fresh. I can't do anything with it. Baby oil. It's scented. It, smo it soothes you, apparently. Gills! None. I don't know why the status is what- I don't know what m health or magic I'm meant to have. I don't know what, uh, what- I don't know what any of those are meant to do. Okay. Status. Just... I'm level one. A save system, that's nice. We'll have a look through the world. We'll experience. This fucking degenerate. Like, it's so depressing that he just built this world and it's just it's just empty. I wonder if he ever thinks about it. Like it, it put everything in. None of this is interactable, by the way. None of it. Not not a single part of it is interactable. It's just it's just an empty, it's an empty dead world. The library. If you ever wanted to piss yourself or reading a book, this is this is where you can come. This wasn't a joke. This is this was his passion project. This mattered to him. He had dreams. Can't interact with any of the food. Just just put just put things in. Completely lost. Completely dead. Now I wanna I wanna take you to one place that I feel I feel is an interesting inclusion. Okay. So all these houses, by the way, all of them, uh, I'll give you an example. We'll just go in this one. All of them have exactly the same layout in different colours. You got he got lazy. Is the urge me to pulsing? I, I don't know. There are some there are some questions that even I do not have answers to. They're the same fucking they're just he just copied and pasted them. Why? <laughs> fucking godless. I feel like one of these might be different actually. Is this one different? Oh, this one is different. Yes, it's like a common room. You can hang out in. So, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go here, we're gonna... This, for some reason, was modelled. There's a fucking campsite. Why is there a campsite? What What did this degenerate plan? Are they dorm rooms? I think they might be. I think they might be. 
but uh, we're going to go here. I When I found this, I found this fucking fascinating that he put this in. He fucking put a church in. This godless motherfucker was like, yep, this game needs Jesus. I, I wish you'd added a fucking priest. I need one. I still can't interact with anything. I'm glad you put in the effort. Go upstairs. I think this place is one of the most interesting things in this place. The chest. I, 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 the church is one of the most detailed fucking places in this. He knew. He did. It's like he had a compulsive fucking urge. It's a church in the diaper game. It's the church in the diaper game. <laughs> <laughs> now I am meant to be doing a video on this so for, for those of you watching the stream you're going to get a repeat when I finally put that out but I thought it was finally time to give you a tie I thought, I thought I'd do a a, play, a let's play the shittest let's play in the planet now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to walk around for a bit and we're going to see what happens when the fullness meter reaches full okay because I, I I think you get teleported, and then, as far as I know, I think it breaks the game. But I've only done that having been, like... Uh, fuck. How do you put it? You you get changed. You can't change yourself, as he, des as he like, described. You're not allowed to mess with, with yourself. Fucking freak. And this one, yeah, it's just another, just another, just another place. There's a, there's a, there's a theater somewhere. Where's the theater? I'm gonna go to the theater. We'll, 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 we'll have a wander to the theater. Is that over here? I think it is. He had alternate routes! He had fucking alternate routes! You can't even interact with the swimming pool, I can't even fucking drown myself. Any percent bladder run, true. True. Now, I really don't want to show you the changing stuff, because I think it will get me put on a list. <laughs> When I first when I first uh, made this, this is this is like run on a virtual machine, by the way, um, because there's absolutely no way I'd have this on my normal hard drive. <laughs> well, we'll go kick the football around. Is that it? Is that are you not going to? Uh... Why does the fullness meter set going to go down? I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand how he programmed any of this shit. We're gonna try. We're gonna try and get the football. Go somewhere. Oh, does that not work? Oh, oh. There we go. I kicked the football into the swimming pool. That's now that's gameplay for you. From from a genius, an auteur, a man with a vision. <laughs> Fucking freak. Want to build a sand castle? Yeah, I wish you programmed it. It's a bucket. Be careful not to get sand in shorts. I fucking hate it here. This game isn't on Twitch's ban list, so have it at, at it other streamers. They wouldn't dare. They wouldn't dare. How can you ban this masterpiece? It's incredible. Is this it? Does it? Is it not going to let me interact <laughs> with anything else? <laughs> okay. So this is fourth space. This is... This is the perfect game. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so for those of you wondering, 
what what the game was. This this was it. There you go. I have I have fulfilled my obligations. Right, I'm fucking done. I'm done. I can't I can't do more. Fuck, I can't take the music anymore. Don't stop for a second. Wait for. I can't do more. I can't do more. Um, so I will release a video. Like the um, I do have some other footage, as well, um, and some other thoughts. <laughs> Worried how it's gonna affect your sleep? Yeah, I don't. I don't blame you. Did I just come into here, Jack? <laughs> okay, so there you go. There is there is a there is there is an absurd and random old school fucking lockout for you all. Um, but I really I want to keep I want to keep today short. We're two hours. Ah, there we go. I want to keep today short partly because I'm tired. It's been really fucking busy lately. It's been re actually ridiculous. Um, you should be lucky. This could have they could, they could have made a visual novel. True. Now. Jesus. It's one of those games that I'll be honest, like it's all pixels, so it's not that bad. But I know what the intention behind it is. Do you know what I mean? It's like somebody handed me a blue square and was like, I get off to that. <laughs> you fucking what? Can you do that second uh that three sec trailer? Uh what yours? If you link it to me, sure. Have a look. Have a look. We'll watch Evan's trailer. Okay, fucking. Okay. <laughs> okay, fucking. What's this? What did you do? You do. I fucking had stuff. Helldivers trailer, PS fuck you, Becky. Okay, have a look. Have a, have a little look through. Hell, Beckett, I'll do it. A fucking review on Helldivers 2. I didn't want to because I don't like to be too trendy, but everyone is talking about horse cocks and cat boy ranches lately, so fuck it. I guess I will. You're gonna get me fucking claimed. He's gonna get me fucking claimed! It'll be out when it's out. And we like that. It'll be out when it's out. Good. Okay, fucking help. Good. I'm glad. Do the Evans <laughs> review. I'm actually interested. Like, Evans, Evans' last review on, um... Fuck. What was your last review? Uh... What the fuck was it? Oh, it's Lethal Company. It was good. I liked this Lethal Company review. Forgot the name of the game. Not that you did the review. Um, it's good. I think it should be good. Red Alert 2 theme song. True. So good. Command and Conquer. Is I miss Command and Conquer. Um. Reported Start Viper True. <laughs> Anything not to go back to that game? What, Lethal Company? Or oh, 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 what, the diaper game? Yeah, no, fair enough. Fair enough. I want to, uh, yeah, so, okay. I'm still waiting on a couple of things to develop with the ACC. I have some other stuff planned. I wasn't kidding when I said I wanted to go over Yonder Raid Dev. Because I am, the latest, the latest updates, I'm kind of, uh, I, was uh, I was told I sound like a younger Civi. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I love Civi. Civi's so good. Um, I, I, the stuff I've heard recently about the Yonder Raid Dev, Dev stuff, and the stuff in Diesel's videos is actually really interesting to me. So I, I really actually do want to go over it. Um, that said, I would like to, I don't know, do a couple more interesting things. Some, the some stuff in the ACC, I, that I kind of is a bit more serious, but I want to have a look at. Uh, I know Queen has gone over some stuff, uh, the golf ball stuff. So I'd like to do that. So I'll probably start that next week as well. Um... And I'm going to look at Doodle Diapers, and I'm going to look at Toon Critic. Uh, both of those things are going to be covered, because I want to do sort of like a historical thing. I might do a video on Doodle, actually. I think that I think an update on where Doodle is now as a video would be quite interesting. 
Uh, what did Lyo do this time? Um, oh, is Queen going to make a response video? I think, um, so from speaking to Queen, Queen was going to go live yesterday, but uh, had issues with getting somebody on, so didn't, and just went and chilled out. Um, I don't know what Queen's going to say. Queen is not happy, but also, I mean, I, what I will say is this. But from what I've heard from var a variation of sources is the uh, Supreme Court server is not going well. And um, Peach's attempt to wriggle out of accountability hasn't fucking worked. Peaches, no one's buying this from Peaches. No, no one gives a fuck what he says. Um, source of a source, source of a source. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping things a bit close to my chest at the moment until I, until I know more, until I see how it develops. Uh, the one thing I will say is now recording. I've edited now recording's new podcast. I don't think that's a fucking. That's that's not a secret. That's not a secret. Uh, considering. Consider it's pretty obvious I edited it. Um, that should be out in a couple of days, I think. Which I, I, I again, it's sort of like a background on the whole situation uh, with me, Beavers, Matt Pitt, and Hellbent. So that should be good. And um, I, if something happens midweek, uh, this is going to be my rule for the ACC stuff because stuff can move really quickly and then it stops basically. Um, if if stuff gets released midweek, I will go live with a stream, whatever day it is, um, and then we'll have some content. I might do some midweek content for you guys as well, um, and hopefully we'll have a video out as well soon. So uh, there's a lot of stuff planned, basically. It's Beckett recording now, Lamau. Yeah, that was funny. No, I look. I like. I like working with the uh, now recording boys. I I, I like them anyway. They're, they're friends. Not surprised. Gilded did warn. Uh, hidden how making um, the server right now right after leaving Senate would look it, I mean it looked awful I mean Zach went back to the fucking Senate I believe I've heard rumours that Peaches is back in Senate I prefer weekly stream what do you mean by weekly stream do you, as in like I do a stream once a week or like I do a midweek stream Tell me. I, 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 I may not pay any attention to it. I tried to keep them short. I've been trying to keep them much shorter. When I was streaming on Twitch back in the day, I'd stream like eight, nine hours. It's just too long. It's just too long. It's nice to do like two hours. Come and hang out. Go play Dragon's Dogma. Beckett is always recording for now recording. True. Are they bullied you into free labor? Fuck, maybe they did. <laughs> Is there anything else actually I can show you that's been going on that's interested me? Just just before I I, I dip. I think I'll obviously go watch Chris tomorrow. Because that's funny. How long before her and Lyo get the fan back together? I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think I think the Peach and Lyo bridge is burned forever. We love eight hour streams, but it takes a toll. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't keep doing it. I mean, I was late to Chris's stream by 40 minutes. I really did just, I, I got back from getting food, sat down and passed the fuck out. I was absolutely fucking exhausted. I was so tired. I just fell asleep. And yesterday I was meant to be playing D&D &D with a load of people. And I was like, I'll have a nap. Slept through like four alarms and I was four hours late. And then I was just like... Yeah, I need to. <laughs> I need to take a break. Uh, once a week for long is good. To our stream in two week is good though. Uh, in two week is good though. Um, you underestimate Lyo's simp ability. That that's also probably true. Yeah, like I I don't know. I I like I like putting stuff out and hanging out and chatting. Nice, it's easy. I miss the random stream stuff. Yeah, I want to. Um, I want to do a bit more like, like. I don't know, find it, if I find something funny, and I'm just like, I'll go live with this, I, I might do that a bit more. Um, I miss doing, you know, um, 
I gave him a mountain of cringe for your enjoyment. If it fails you, you should bully him. Yeah, I've se I, I had a look at that, Jack. I will have a look. I've got like a whole uh kind of like list of random things people have sent me, and I'm just looking into it. The, the next thing I'm going to do is go through the diesel calls, I think, if he's releasing those. I prefer to do raw footage. And we'll see where that story is going to. Um, see if there's anything else interesting going on. Uh, there's also been a load of Tom tomfoolery stuff recently that's happened. And okay, so full disclosure, who is live? Am I the only person I know who's live? Who I like? I do like myself. I'm like, yeah, apparently so. Okay. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go back to where the fuck is it? This. I found this really interesting. So we're gonna watch it. We're gonna watch it through uh, Just Stream because I uh, it got put together for him. So I I kind of interested. Um. So for those that remember the tomfoolery drama, trying to raid again. Yeah, I finally get the ability to raid, and either no one's live or I can't raid anyone. It's fucking ridiculous. Sex doll community. I the fucking I I did see some shit on that actually. Uh, Tom Tent never stops. True. So. The tomfoolery stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. Is it you? It's not you. You know. It's this. So tomfoolery. What? Tom's been doing something really interesting. And apparently, like, last night. So this would be two days ago. Can I find the timestamps for this? Maybe. Tomfoolery has been doing this thing where he's sort of been, like, rewriting history a bit. And I found that really interesting. Uh, he was, like, talking about Zonia and that Zonia was, like, like just mentally ill uh he keeps trying to reframe what happened and i'm kind of fascinated at this um at this survival tactic now i will say one thing that i found really interesting during this stream justek is talking about oh i don't have any issues with tom i don't have any issues you know we've buried the hatchet i don't have any problems with him i'm like motherfucker like tom 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 is a lying scumbag he lied he lied a lot and he threw a lot of people under the bus. Let's be clear of why so many people turned on Tom. It was it was because Tom threw a load of people under the bus. He, he went unhinged for like four months and has just been throwing people under the bus. That That's why so many people covered it. That's why people continue to cover it. But the reason that happened is Justic. Justic destroyed this dude's career. And he's like, no, it's fine. It's fine. So many losers will always rewrite history to look good. Best example is short fat attacker. <laughs> I'll get to that one day. Um, he buried it. Uh, he blurred it out on the back of Tom's hat. Um, I think, I think what's interesting about kind of this rewriting is I don't know if it's working. So Tom's numbers are crawling back up. He's gone from sort of. 18 people watching him he's now at like i think i see him at like 50 and if he's doing something interesting he can get i don't know maybe 100 viewers now tom was regularly getting concurrence of like 180 so it's still quite the fall uh oh shit you know the dev law i don't i might know bits of the dev law i might i'll tell you this uh i once i was speaking to somebody about uh something that was happening in twitch politics uh an old hat from the skeptic community and uh, I mentioned Dev was involved, and he just sighed and said, listen, whatever position Dev takes, just take the opposite. You'll probably be fine. <laughs> Dev, Dev just automatically takes the worst position. Um, yeah, he fell super far. Like, Tom Tom got fucked. Um, I, I remember when Queeman was saying, because I was in Queeman's chat, and Queeman was like, oh yeah, he was never at 200. He was. Before all this started, he was like at 180, 200, fairly regularly. Um, and he is, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad, but Tom, Tom keeps doing this thing. Like lots of us would just like, stop talking about it, but every single stream now, like there'll be a pause and he'll be like, oh, I need to go over these DMs. This is like from the other night, apparently. Uh, where's the bet? And like took his drugs from him or something. I was in touch with Mantis immediately. But I wasn't telling other people that I was in touch with Mantis immediately. So is Tom Fuller on like the... Oh shit, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. 
Is he on like good terms with everybody, or do you guys like all hate him? Is this like a Tom Fuller hater room? Uh, that... Tom, they, Tom can come on my stream him. now. I, I think I'm good with Tom. I, I've rated him like five times. Wait, okay? This week, you guys were like blowing him apart last week. <laughs> I love Nick. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> How many times has Tom burned his nipples? I don't. I don't think Tom has ever done an Andy Walski. Like the stream and sub for more content. True. True. Um. Fuck, where is it? Uh... Like, I, I I, did take this very seriously, and it fucked with me pretty hardcore. Like, I... uh, Most of, like, me over the next week being super emotional and being kind of, like, fucked up in the head was over that, like... um. So I'm sort of interested. I'm, I'm just giving you a preamble. I'm sort of interested at the fact that he's constantly trying to reframe this. Recently, Not So Erudite turned up to defend him with very little idea. Everyone knows that I like NSA. We're friends. Um, but like with very little idea as to what had happened. Uh, it was quite fucking awkward, I'll be honest. But it, it does seem to be good content. Um... So yeah, may maybe we'll pick up some Tom stuff. There's also been some food shop stuff happening. So we'll we'll do some um, Twitch poly things at some point. Because it's been a little while. It's been a little while. But there we go. There we go. There's a little preamble of stuff that I'm currently looking at. And also things to have a look at. Um, I think Queeman is doing more Tom Tent. I think. I like the fact that technically Lyo is Thomas. So it is also Tom Tent. It's just adjacent. Tom Tent adjacent. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Does anyone, does, unless anyone has any final thoughts or anything, are we good? I don't know what else is going on tonight. I don't know if, if, even if there is anything else tonight. What, why is it so fucking quiet? It's, it's like, no, it's, it's what, 9 p.m.? Damn it, I came back to avoid that shit, Lamal. Yeah, don't worry. Did I dodge the RPG? Yes, you did. You did, Hayes. You did. Why is it so fucking quiet, guys? What's going on? Is that literally just no one live? Or is my is my YouTube broken? Maybe my YouTube's broken. <laughs> Demon Mama's live! Go and watch Demon Mama. <laughs> oh fuck, yeah it is. It's, it's fucking it's fucking quiet. Fucking quiet! Okay, I have no one to send you to. Um you show up knowing what happens there? True. True, Jack. That's your mistake. Is Keffel's going to OD? <laughs> I think... I think Keffel's... I think Keffel's knows. I think Keffel's knows it's over. I think it's over for Tipster as well, for multiple fucking reasons. Uh, I think Tipster's fucked. I think Keffel's fucked. Um, only Queeman for me. Yeah, Quiet Night. Yeah. Fuck. Hold on. Can I raid Queeman? <laughs> It's Queen, it's Queen still alive. What's he doing? What you think about the thing, or the, the issue, and make the best content you can. Oh, fuck. Covering my girlfriend. I don't know. Fuck it. We'll raid Queeman. <laughs> I'll send you there. Okay. Cool. If, if it'll let me. If it'll let me. If he's got it turned on, I've got no fucking idea. Um... Give me a sec. How the fuck do I do this? I need to raid somebody just so I know it works. Just so I'm aware of how it works. Um, where is it? Redirect. Yes. I think that'll work. I've got no idea. I'm going to try. We'll see. We'll find out, won't we? Uh, thanks very much for um, hanging out and chilling. Um, if there's anything else that comes up, we'll do something. And I'll be more awake. I'm going to go play Dragon's Dogma now. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, have a good night and I'll see you on the other side.